Your new tax bracket is his indifferently. They're struggling. Lay them an arm. The creatures from the backwood ride with yarn for hair, looking like they need a facial, a bath, and antibiotics, as well as Jesus in their life. have a few messages to get out. Let me lower my, my, my um, accompanying music. My Japanese trap music. Someone is really sorry. They're really sorry. And they're struggling. They did not see what you saw in yourself. And if they did see, they tried to beat it out of you. Right? With their ignoramus ways. You are Ibex, greatest of all time. No mountain can you not traverse with flair. Mm -hmm. They did not see your creativity, your humor, the grace that was on you. And as we are in what? The Lion's Gate. The portal created by Sirius, the brightest star. Mm-hmm. As it is in what juxtaposed with the new moon in Leo. Your creativities, darling dear, are in the forefront as you are what? Ushered into a new tax bracket. Realize in shade that they be chucking at you is not above. What? It's not on your pay grade. It's... Listen away with what? Their foilables, their foolishness, right? And their dim-witted ideas. Try to what? Get their echo praxicon. Started taking notes. Wanted to know if you was hiring. Ha ha! Are you hiring, big cat? Do you need, right? A mattress back? Animal in a kitten heel? A back front neck stabber? Do you need the toxic and the toxicity of it all? These questions we've asked amongst ourselves and we've decided no. It doesn't go with our hairline. It doesn't go with our creativities. And it sure as she's naive does not go with our Pentakele game. You are finding that you are able to what? Produce quality over quantity in whatever field you decided to dominate, big cat. This is a season where your what? Your, your uniqueness, your particular skill set is being recognized and celebrated where you are getting partnerships, promotions, moving into fields that you immediately dominate. Why? Because you've got it like that. You are different. One of a kind. You are inducting the what? The divine feminine principle. Whether you are male or female. What is that? Let me tell you. Lean in, big cat. The divine feminine principle says that you what? You sit on your throne. You understand your worth. You tap into your potentials on a daily basis as you what? Mold and bend the matrix. Growth and expansion is your go-to moves. Nurturing unto self. If you have progeny, progeny you, your progeny are proud to have you as the figurehead. You become a beacon of light to those that felt there was no chance for them when chance was all they had. They took, you took the chance to escape. The chance to love on yourself. The chance to commune with Father God most high on a daily basis. Realize in Isaiah 54, 17, no weapon formed against the big cat shall prosper. A season of what being able to identify 
the Lord's wife in the crowd. Those that come with the Zemblanity, Law 10 of the 48 Laws of Power. You've recreated yourself, remolded yourself in the persona you was meant to be on this Malkuf with those bad ass, bad ass alchemist ways. You understood that being around people, I well, they said there was people, and having to track them with your eyes was affecting your mental health. You did the full on tinky winky with no what? No map. You went into the undergrowth and came back leading the pack. As they what? Try to nip at your heels, jump on your coattails, sending you what? Messages by proxy in some cases to get your attention. Dema concha pentacale. Dema count your pentacale. What they didn't see for you, they are now counting in place of you. Counting the many heinous crimes they perpetrated against the big cat. Took advantage of your naivety because you didn't realize what a hioka was. But now you do. And you protect your said energies like Smeagol. You recognize fresh shit shining in the sunlight. You are not allowing no marauders to keep you in a box when you was built to live outside said box. You now know that age, gender, race is not a limit to your excellence. Okay, that's the downloads. Let's let's call in the end. <laughs> I'm gonna move on now. Right. Let's call in the energies of guidance and protection, big cats. Scene 33 in the chat, the same age as Jesus and Bob Marley, ascended masters. been away with this book because I'm telling you blood real hairline taking stuff going around here guys we're going to go with what the energy of the fairy Lord have mercy can I can, can I get it is it stuck I've got to stand up for this shiz night. What's going on? How'd you get me on me little pins? The devil is a liar. But I have what? The tracker cat. Hey, hey! From my stand up and look down. Drop down and get my eagle on. Nothing escapes my what? Inquiring fingers. Nothing except my ring. Listen, don't go there, please. Don't go there. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, the base of the deck is healing, darling dears. You healed. And as you healed, you ascended. Some of you are coming out as healers on every level. This is where you're finding your pentacles, darling dear. Spreading what compassion and guidance. Now is the time for you to give or receive healing. Everyone has a natural ability to heal others. Yes, even you. Beautiful deck by Karen K. Oracles of the Fairies. Thank you. 
You have to. Motivation and manifestation. A dastardly duo for some. Those that didn't see it for you, darling dear. Didn't realize that you was that bitch or garçon. What do you what make water into wine? Mm-hmm. Hitting them differently. This new tax bracket. The cat you was 12 months ago is not the cat you are today. And the cat you will be 12 months from now is fraught, right? With manifestation and motivation, darling dears. I'm going to read you a little from both. I'm going to read a bit from both of them. Okay, we've got motivation on page 78, right? The seven and the eight is the chariot and the strength. Cancer as well as Leo energy. Again, we go back to the new moon as well as the lion's gate, darling dear. Mm-hmm. Right, manifestation, 72. Again, we see the chariot energy, cancer, as well as what? The high priestess, darling dear. Moon and water energy. Knowing thyself, sitting on your seat of knowledge that came from within. You had to go within. You can screenshot it and read the entirety at your leisure. I'm just going to pick out a little bit. Right. One of the simplest manifestation techniques is to write it down, what you want to manifest, whether it's an idea, a wish, or a dream. Be honest with yourself. Once it exists, once it exists on paper, it, it, it exists in, in the physical world. Can it really be that simple? Yes. I already told you many times in the days leading up to the lion's gate, write that she's naive down. Burn it under the light of the new moon and walk away. Let the wind take it. Motivation. They know that you have a special task at hand. They're here to encourage you to get on with it. Working with the flower essences, aromatherapy, scented candles, could be a bit of what? Incense, sage, whatever it is that gets you what? Motivated, darling dear. But the biggest motivation should come from within because you are what? Focused, man. As I said, read it at your leisure. this motivation and manifestation going down as you fast approach a new tax bracket, right? Causing major tower moments in the Skullduggeress' life. One overall energy, please. Thank you. Hey, hey, love it. Right, you've got what? The two of pentacle. We had the two of cups in reverse. This talks about what? You being solo, like the girls on the pole, darling dear, able to manage and bend the matrix. This also makes an eight. Again, the number of cause and effect. Karma going in your favor. Yes, baby, good karma, dharma, darling dears. Mm -hmm. This is about you, what? Being able to what? Juggle. Not in a bad way, in a good way. As you what? Move away from toxic relationships and situations that simply did not go with your head. They didn't like your hairline. They wanted you barking at cars, right? Passing cars, right? Dressed in what? Uh, the Quasimodo. Clothed in Quasimodo. Yes! That's what they wanted for you. 
but you understood you had to go it solo go out into the undergrowth right and as you did that you put yourself in line on the path for this new tax bracket be gone bottom feeders back to the pile what pile the pile of f shit Two of Pentacle, darling dears, Capricorn energy, mm -hmm. as well as what? Jupiter energy, the plant of fate, destiny and good luck. I told you, things are on the up and up as they count your Pentacles. Mm -hmm. This also speaks about you, what? Some of you need to make better um, time management. Get a schedule going, right? Yes, there's only so many hours of the day to get great, but you have to have organization. Without a plan, you plan to fail. Mm-hmm. This also tells me, Big Cat, that you have been handling unlimited issues like a boss, darling dear. Right? Sailing through the ups and downs of life with ease. Mm hmm And a replenished hairline. As you what? Motivate. And manifest. Mm -hmm. We have the Queen of Wands. Big cat. You are highly intuitive. You're looking beautiful, sexy and lovely. Why? Because you separated yourself from the bad lucky. Blessing blockers. And you became what? More beautiful. You focused on your skin, your hairline. You took the time to sit back and plan. After you finished crying and smacking yourself across the face a few good times, letting that spittle fly. Good God. Arms is itching me, darling dear. Scratch with me. You know, Pentacale is always a foot amongst the big cat. What can we do except make more peas? We've got no time for foolishness. Neither does the Queen of Wands. This shows that you are extremely nurturing and determined. You are a natural born leader. This also about, speaks about what? New social contacts, right? A linking of powerhouses. You are highly intuitive. Some are, some, are, some people, some of they, them, and um are seeing your psychic abilities. The Pentacale could speak about online or in the community. Mm -hmm. Determined and proud. Nothing wrong with a bit of pride as you enter a new tax bracket. Because why? You took the time to plan, right? In silence, I might add, because the big cat shrubs. You tell no one nothing. You are confident and you keep your expectations high. How? With wisdom. And your third eye on that bitch. Oh, Mitch. Being Peter 5 8 at all times. An authority figure. Attracting those to you with your knowledge. Knowledge brings power. And what is power? Power is power! On every level. You have the what? The gumption. And the go get it. The withdrawal. With, with all. I can't say it now. Alright, let's go for motivation. You've got the motivation! To go after every one of your dreams. They are no longer dreams. As you see yourself bend. The matrix. As I begs. infinite possibilities plans within plans you've seen them take shape you understand now not only must you speak it into existence you must also write it down darling dears in the present tense mm -hmm. let's get the domino of the day As they sit back in their adversity and hardship, right? Fraught with misfortune. Yes. Who can stand in the face of a fool? Only big cat. As you, what? Be spontaneous. Take that leap of faith. Take that chance on yourself. We see the fool energy. Mercury as well as Uranus, right? This talks about you being a rebel in your field. 
This is why they come in all, in all shapes of sizes for your milkshake. Whatever you decide to put out there, you are blessed and highly favored. Isaiah 54, 17, I repeat it again. No weapon formed against the big cat shall prosper. The energy of the five big cat, the zero five, speaks about what? Somebody's in an unhappy situation, an unhappy relationship, right? Where they what? Living amongst their bad choices, right? Negative cycles that they leaped into, right? Took a leap of faith, right? And ended on top of a shit heap, right? Good for them. Good for them. The energy of the five darling dears also talks about what your security as they fall on hard times right they look at what you've got i told you yeah and wishing wishing they treated you better more fairly or at least shut up in the presence of greatness Some of you big cats are realizing, as I said before, age is not a factor. It's how you limit yourself in your mind. Look at Warren Buffett. He didn't hit the big ticket until he was 5-0. 50. 50. Mm -hmm. They're worried about your security, right? They should be because your security, not only are you secure, your security is all up and on them. We see Taurus as well as Hierophant energy. You've got no need to call in your spiritual team. They're on hand. Why? Because they know you pay attention to the signs and you do not hitch when you are being what? Shown a path to take opportunities and potentials. Guided. Oh, oh, look at what's underneath that. They wanted you in sackcloth and ashes. But who... Whom is wearing said robe now? Sorry and sad that you've moved on. They didn't want you to move on, right? They wanted you to still be around with the begging bowl. Once you realize how deep their skullduggery, right, went, you what? Tapped in. Learned your birth natal chart and how to bend the matrix. You looked closely at your Akashic record, your snapshot on this Malkuf. Can't you see the sun behind your head, illuminated, enlightened, tapped in and turned on? Look at that lovely yellow. Your solar plexus, darling dear, your willpower drive and your confidence is on 1000 because every step you took furthered you on the path to greatness. Sad and sorry they be. Good for them. Cry into your fist, you must. Luke 22, 50, 62. Excuse me. Came through with the 50 again. Yes, baby. Mm -hmm. The five of pentacle in the upright, I might add. You moved away at what? Light speed. Away from the Zen planetus. Mm -hmm. Right. Let's get a deck, shall we? No, we're going to go for the runes first. As I sip my mocha. Oh, big cat. Look at this, she's naive. If, you, if you've not been paying attention to what I've been telling you about the lion's gate and the infinite possibilities that are being granted to you, Let's have a look at my, my mocha cup. Lean in, big cat. Can you not see the lamp? On the pedestal, poised. A wish is to be granted today. Set your intention. We already saw it from the fairies. They told us to not only speak it, write that she's naive down. Harness the energy of the lion's gate and the new moon in Leo, darling dears. I beseech you. Mm -hmm. Yes, baby. Full on press, pumped and perturbed. These opportunists. 
Mm -hmm. Only one rune so far. Look at this. We have Kanaz. This is the hermit, right? The codependent, those stuck in what? Bottom feeding ways. Ghetto groundhog day of the DNS, darling dear. They haven't what changed one fig. The number 36 and 39. They lack understanding and enlightenment. Mm -hmm. Living in their what? Lower nature, being betrayed as they continue to betray. Misunderstood by the partner that they're betraying. I don't, how can you un misunderstand betrayal, darling dear? That hit different. Hey! <laughs> hey! As you continue with your what? Ibex ways. Prototype breaking generational curses. Mm -hmm. Canas is represented by the letters K, I, and C. Mm -hmm. It speaks about what? Dishonesty and loneliness. Someone is feeling isolated. And what? Because of their codependency, they're afraid to walk alone. Mm -hmm. This person has to keep their innermost feelings hidden at all times amongst the feeble-minded. Yes. I feel as though I need to shake it again. We want more intel. The spirit ain't ramping today. Listen, it said take these two and go ahead. <laughs> Pull on Polo Sancho. As you what? This is radio, right? Cancer energy. This talks about determination and strength. Some of you have got a new chariot of righteousness or about to. It also speaks about being spiritually guided. Don't you know? Pinky's up. Mm -hmm. I got I got way late by looking for my ring. Listen. Let me draw my focus back. Mm -hmm. The letter R, darling dears. This is the number represented by the number 28 and 31. As well as what? 56. Mm -hmm. This is your evolution, darling dear. It also speaks about travel. Some of you are going on a journey. Could be a short jaunt. But wherever you go, know this. It will motivate your manifestations. This is about you, what? Coming outside of your, your isolation. Law 18 of the 48 laws of power. Full on isolation. It's dangerous, right? And crazy making. Mm -hmm. Cancer energy. This is the warrior in you, darling dears. This also speaks about what? The meeting of a new partner, whether in the business or the romantical field. Yes, baby. And as you continue to boss up, using your inner guidance to create security in your life and in your mind, right? As well as what? Having your security at your back. Self-discipline and determination is your go-to move. This also speaks about invitations to parties, business meetings. Some of you are going on seminars, darling dear. I told you, the big cat way is one of knowledge because knowledge brings power. And what is power? Power is power! Yeah, didn't mean to lose it, but I had to get the point. My point's across. Mm-hmm. Yeah. As you continue to watch, race ahead. They saw you as the tortoise. Oh, well. Now they're walking, looking at your smoke as you continue to what? Get gone and get great. Oh, big cat. Do we need to say it anymore? Jera, the letter J, the wheel of fortune. The karma wheel. Hey! When I come through the, with the intel to remind you that you are that bitch or garçon, every one of my divinatory tools tell you the same shit's naive because it's true. The wheel of fortune, darling dear, that transformational wheel. The 10 brings into mind um, 
the energy of the sun also. This is a fortunate time, a gathering season somewhat. Harvest is upon you. Change and transformation. This is what they're seeing. This is why they're taking notes. This is why they're struggling. Blessed and highly favored. Continue to be the rebel in your life, big cat. Be a rebel! Because you are spiritually protected and guided. Use your boundaries as your Geiger counter. You need to have what? Standards and high expectations. Are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. Spirit also wants you to what? Embody the air of forgiveness. You need nothing to hold you back. This is also about formal training. As I said, you are bossing up in the cranium department. Yes. Good luck for you. Bad luck for others. As they continue to take note and ask if you're hiring. Don't get smoke blood. We bring back nothing from the dead. No time traveling over here. Hey, hey. Right, let's get a deck on this tableau. A genie in a lamp. Wishes are being granted because you was motivated. This is why you're manifesting and doing a stand-up job. All while making it look effortless. Law 30 of the 48 laws of power, darling dear. Yes, hey. It's hidden differently. Right, let's get to death. Oh, look for the base of the deck. The Empress, all we need, right, is the Queen of Swords and the High Priestess to come through so you can feel me. The Empress of everything, darling dear. And you must, you must remember at this stage of the game, right? Hockey sticks at dawn is for a bottom feeder. Your energies are very important. You must be focused on self, on co-creation, on your progeny, right? Because you are now the matriarch of your family. This also is what? Talking about some of you in your single parenthood, right? Having to use your intuition and discernment to come out of poverty. Where they left you. Or you left them. You left with nothing. Just your common sense. And a small tinky winky bag. <laughs> that you now have to what? Expand. The Empress Venus energy, love of self, darling dears. Mm -hmm. What is the current energies around the big cat? Just saw the four of wands. Stable. In 11, 11 fade. Big cat. So nice spirit had to come through twice. Your intuition is lit lit litty. Your psychic gifts. Spirit, divine Father God wants you to know to use them to your advantage. Look, she's looking at herself, focusing on yourself. You have what it takes to change your tax bracket. Know this? Mm -hmm. The Queen of Wands, darling, they are determined and proud. Using your occult knowledge, your birth natal chart, darling dears, to guide you. High expectations. What's crossing you at the moment? More good luck, listen. What did I just say? When spirit is ready to bless the big cat, you must only say thank you. What else can I do? <laughs> you must be attentive, motivated, and quick to act. Yes, baby, the wheel of fortune. 
completion of a cycle, darling dears. Like a boss. This is what's crossing you at the moment. Good fortune. Right? But you're intuitive, intuitive, yeah, I can't even say now, intuitively guided to take advantage of these infinite possibilities and opportunities, no matter how small. Mm -hmm. Your current goal, your destiny. Spirit wants you to listen. Your destiny is not to be heartbroken anymore, blood. <laughs> your main goal is not to be strapped. Strapped and stabbed again, to be betrayed, lied to, right? Yes, lighted, pulled about. Your, your current destiny and goal, right, is to view life like a child. A child packs light. Their expectations are high. They take a leap of faith on a daily basis. Moving away from heartbreak. You was able to pack light. The bitterness, right? The pain, the poison. They wanted you to take, right? Right, hoping for them to die. You didn't take it. You packed light. Why? Because you came through with that F word. What's that? Forgiveness. Forgive them. Because they will see on the back end, which they are now seeing because they're struggling, guys. Taking a leap of faith, right? With a whole heart, one that is not broken. Three of swords on its face, darling dears. On its face. Libra energy, as well as what? Saturn energy. This is about you, what? Moving away, right? Healing from past actions. This is also about health problems. Some of you are going for um, some kind of surgery or you're changing your medications, right? Some of you are taking a leap of faith towards a particular medication, right? I don't want to name it because YouTube don't like it. You, we all know what I'm talking about. Is it going to work? Oh, listen, you'll be worried forevermore once you take that particular medication. I'm not saying what it is. Think what you like. You'll be worried forever because you took it blindly, right? Relying on the counsel of others when that is a very foolish move, right? And when I say others, you know what I'm listening. It's a lot of what? <sighs> I'm going to dance around the subjects. I can't mention them. YouTube don't like it. Yeah, you took that leap of faith with a clean heart. Oh, what's this? What is this? Right? Influences of your distant past. Yes, baby. What was the influence? Bishop Paul Morton, cry your last tear, babe. Tapping into your creativities, baby. A new beginning, a fresh start. Some of you, what? I found that you're pregnant. We already saw the Empress nurturing a mother. Right? Some of you are getting that long wanted, awaited child. Mm -hmm. This is also what? Emotional maturity, darling dears. And it speaks again of a new lover. If it's a romantical, what new beginning you're requiring at this stage of the game, seeing as you've got everything else? Your 10th cup. This also speaks as what? Your multiple streams of income. That one little peccadillo, that little, that little idea, the one they like to dampen it down with. You, you worked on it like a boss. And it's created multiple streams of passive income. Not only that, you switched your entrepreneur on. The Queen of Wands talks about it. Absolutely. This is why what? Good fortune is favoring the brave. Yes, baby. Creativity, you tapped into it. You found it in your birth natal chart. Mm -hmm.
your recent past. What's going on in your recent past? Something that you're not looking at. Oh, the dramatic and the drama field. You know, I look at it at all. Listen, Easter Island, Stevie Wonder, the codependent, the Brock Porketers. Buddy, have you got a dime? Those that come with the begging bowl, you'll learn to beg them back. <laughs> yes, because you shut up about what you've got going on. They can smell blood in the water and they'll be on you. Just, just, just coming out like what cockroaches coming out of camouflage. Yes. Looking like they need a facial or bath and antibiotics. Those beggars, right? And bottom feeders, mattress back. Those that will put your mental health at risk. You ain't looking at nothing like that. You are looking at your infinite possibilities as you co-create. Yes, be a bit nine of peas on its face, right? You stay away from situations that make you feel trapped and less than. This also speaks about prostitution. Somebody's putting it out there and they're not being paid very well. Then they might as well give it up. Just like those thieves that are always getting caught. Give it up, lad. That, that, that line of income is not for you, right? Putting out their padani or for Tom. Someone did do that. They thought they could put their back into it, right? And get great. It's not working. They are codependent, right? On the bottom dollar. Bottom dollar. You're not you're not paying attention to the hairline takers. Drama? You know drama comes with karma. Mm-hmm. And not the good kind. Right? I told you. You're looking for your tenth cup. This is about emotional fulfillment. 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 Good God. <laughs> Loud my tongue, blood. These comics don't want me to speak the blessings in your life. They don't want you to hear the grace that is being afforded you at this stage of the game. You filled up your own ten cups. This is about your mental maturity, right? Your emotional maturity. If you have progeny, you've made a safe haven for your domicile. And this also speaks about the romantical side of it. If it's a true partner that you are requiring, as you are what? Whole. Right? And up for it. <laughs> this is what spirit will grant you as you move towards your new tax bracket. Yeah, no time for drama. Mm-hmm. Right. Moving on. A future influence. What's going to be in your future? Look. What did I say? <laughs> the King of Pentecale. Entrepreneur. This person knows how to get to the bag. This is a self-made, right, whole person. Whether they're in the business field, working for others, they are the top, they are the creme de la creme. This is who is in your hemisphere, right? I told you, fate, destiny, and good luck is on your side, right? And I told you, only an emperor, a king, right, the hierophant, or a mage in the upright can approach the throne you are destined to meet. This person can afford to be a little bit conceited, but not to the point of narcissism. This person is generous, right? Husband or wife material. This is somebody who is what a mentor, would be a mentor to any progeny you might have or the ones that you will co-create, right? Or procreate together. This is what you want in your life. Somebody who's also whole and balanced. Mm -hmm. Extremely resourceful and determined. What's going on with my music? Oh. Mm -hmm. Told you. The sun card, the happiest card in a deck. This talks about marriages, darling dear. Partnerships, 
a raise in your vibration again leo energy the fifth house starting dear and again the number five what is the number five it's change taurus hierophant energy being blessed right by what like-minded souls again this speaks about the birth of a child right a healthy child not allowing what the blessing blockers right to get a foothold as you move to a new tax break oh now i see what's blind now i see good golly and gosh this person is going to what assist this is a power couple when those your world and their world meet a raise in your tax bracket happiest listen leading to marriage i was just talking about the hierophant a stable union one built of on trust wow this is what the king's coming with he can come in any time while the bitter and twisted right are crying some of them touching themselves under the robe good god they need a blue light on their fingers blood because i'm telling you mm -mm, created many images in my mind that i don't want to see right they're upset depressed where's my bell the bell of shame wishing they've done you better didn't realize that you was a powerful resourceful manifesto that the dirt they put on you right was your foundation crying into their fit god they created havoc what's havoc the H is for a harlot, a.k.a. Where is my shiznai? A.k.a. Jezebel. Revelations 2.20. The A is for the advocate of the ginger fighters. Always lying out of their lying liar hole. Right? Skin peeling lies. Time traveling lies. The V is for the victim that quickly shapes shifts. The O is for the obnoxious attitude and the bloody cheek of it all, right? And the C is for the copycat because they're taking notes. They're getting their echopraxic on. But they can't do it like you do it because you have the grace, right? And are gifted with motivation and the what? Manifestation, darling dear. Badass alchemist ways. Ibex merch. Mm-hmm. Present attitude. We have the Knight of Wands, darling dear. This is about you what? Rushing into situations. Mm-hmm. Again, it's the energy of taking a leap of faith, having the passion and the willpower to move forward. This also speaks about what read in another way. It's the dick dealer, the mattress back. The tree slough of it all, right? They'd like to come back through, right? Right next to you, you're back to all of that shit, right? You've healed from whatever they tried to what break a break a big cat down with. You've healed from that because you gave them the big F. <laughs> Somebody shouted out, "F yourself, fuck out of here!" No. Forgiveness, guys. Forgiveness. You gave it to them. Whether they like it or not, they've got it. So there. They can put it in their pipe and smoke it. They probably are. Because I told you, they are so sad and sorry. They're not liking your present attitude. They would like to come through, darling. Look at this foot all. Let's get right up and close on this. Is that attachments, STDs? This is one or two or maybe three or four too many lumps for me. No, sir. Mm -mm. This is not lovely, fabulous or gorgeous. This is someone that's not there for a long time, right? Just a good time. A good time for them. A bad, bad time for you. A dark period in your life. You're not paying any attention to, to anyone from the pet cemetery. Right? Focus. This is your present attitude. 
focused on your goals because you know it's harvest season harvest season change of tax bracket you understood when you leaned on this particular hell right you had one pentacle one pentacle and you was in debt spiritual deficit right deficit of your hairline your common sense right you're not focused on what they've got going on but they're behind you right these type of people can't even trust their own shadow after dark good god it would attack them as they want to come and attack you get stuck into what you've got great on what you co-created by the sweat of your proverbial balls as you what got through the dns like a boss use that time right once you finished crying right and realizing you're crying over a foe right someone who what has the big ticket for the spiritual short bus amongst the feeble minded right once you realize that you got great with your knowledge you started taking better care of your skin you used those bitter tears those upset tears and rub them bitches in best skin tightener on this malkuf listen you used everything to turn your situation around you are focused the seven of pentacle soon right scampers off to the what nine of pentacle independent right then up to the queen and straight to the empress you know your path is lit lit litty seven of pentacle darling dears taurus as well as saturn energy this also speaks about you what waiting for the right partner whether in the business or the love field to come forward you are not right a flower to be plucked you understand your worth you are a prize to be won and only a king a hierophant an emperor in the upright or a mage in the upright can approach focused on your bag because you know it's harvest season as we what sit in the energy of the lion's gate and a new moon in leo what did i say you have no need to even worry about these forgotteners right your spiritual energy is shining through your security is dealing with them in the wackiness way giving them a front seat as you continue to get grace and blessings as your tax bracket is in the upright and continuing to go to infinity and beyond because you went within you sought spiritual guidance you had to isolate yourself from everything including addictions darling dear addicted to what trauma and stresses realizing that it was burdens that was not i repeat not your portion you put them bitches down as you what move towards the village that you've built one where there's what mutual people working for mutual benefit where information intel is exchanged freely amongst great minds mm -hmm. what you need to be aware of right somebody wants to pull you into a third party situation put a bit of triangulation on you right this is also what the celebration of feminine energies right the two of cups three of cups cancer energy mm -hmm. as well as what mercury energy this is about you using your intellect not allowing your energies to be pulled about right putting your third eye on any invite you might get in the near future be aware of that right because it could be an invitation from those disappointed jealous bitter ones right that you are not taking their hopium from right one of the pet cemeteries because they're always rearing their ugly head but as they come back notice they're not coming back to tell you how great you've done no they're not mentioning none of that they want to skip over how they used you emotionally they're not interested right in coming through with the truth this is a true cup of opium beware of that right because they're bitter twisted and jelly bogelly and did i say spying sputnik has nothing on them they are doing it for free and as they continue to look right they have no choice but to count your pentacle why 
Because when they look and see the plethora of what you've got going on, they see that you're highly intellectual, you're intelligent, right? Yes, you're also dispensive. They see you going what? Getting higher educations, getting accolades, right? Building true friendships, right? Meeting of minds. They also realize in some cases they are legally bound from approaching the big cat. They can't come through with the maliciousness. Not in your parliament. No. Listen, if we see one more blessing, I think we're going to have to twerk. No, maybe not. My children will talk about me in twos and threes. They will, right? This is about what? New jobs, new promotions, marriage, right? Marrying into a family where everybody is loyal to each other, truly loyal. A healthy situation. No dysfunction indicated. This is new businesses. It also speaks about an inheritance. Whatever it is for you, big cat, know this. It's in the upright and the shine of your pentacalia. Blind them. Good. Excellent. Right? Infinite possibilities. Always new opportunities coming your way. Offers a plenty. Mm-hmm. Final card. What did I say? The 11-11 fade. A highly spiritual number, right? Indication of leveling up, right? Mutual minds working for mutual benefits. This talks about you partying, celebrating said accolades. This is also my marriage card. We already saw the King of Pentacale. This is a return to your health. This is about your motivation. This is about your manifestation skills. Your new tax bracket. Your Shangri-La. Mm -hmm. The Four of Wands. Love me some Four of Wands, darling dears. Mm -hmm. This is Aries energy, as well as what? The sun energy. Mm -hmm. No. Venus energy. Excuse me. Had to think again, darling dears. Had to think again. Right. This is about what? You being stable. Because why? You took the chance to heal. Right. You took that chance on yourself. This is why you're going to be forever blessed. Oh, we have a new subscriber. There. There you go, Andrea. You can police them as well, because there's bottom feeders everywhere. Right. Glad for the support. Fist bump. Mm -hmm. You took a leap of faith, and you, you bucked, up on, bucked up on healing. Infinite possibilities. As you continue to watch, use your psychic abilities, your discernment to keep away from the dramatic and the drama filled. And if they dare try to come and beg you, as I said, beg them back. Beg them back! Let's get some more cards on this shiznaiwi. Haven't used these in ages. The universe is saying no, they cannot enter, right? They need to stay in the hellfire and powder house they created, right? Oh, they've got secrets, Dad. The secrets have secrets. It's on its face, darling dear, right? Listen, many secrets. What's this? Not trying to get amongst the pile. We've got cancer energy, right? In the upright. So it says emotional sensitivity, right? Cancers are tapped in and tapped in, right? Mm -hmm. This is about you being domestic, right? As well as maternal, your intuition. Cancer is about partnerships, right? Your relationships as well as the past, darling dears. Cancer mm -hmm, is ruled by the moon energy in the upright. 
Pride. Yes, baby. Because of these septicons. The high command of these septicons. Look. You can barely see the word. Right. Because they're coming in a full on suit. Right. With crocodile tears. Lying liation out of their lying liar holes. Know this. Full of drama. We don't like drama. It's got us popping off. Look. Freddy me. Know the company you keep. Reputation is everything. Law 5 of the 48 Laws of Power, darling dears. Posh, clap. Right? We also see Virgo energy. It speaks about I analyze. Be practical and meticulous as you are organized. Right? This is about being helpful for those that don't know the way, darling dears. Mm hmm. Where's the other deck? There it is. Yes, be a bit. What do the wicked want to say as they try to jump onto your coattails? Yes, be a bit. I told you. They are thinking, right? Pondering, right? Examining your multiple, your plethora of evidences. And they are focused on you, right? They are doing a lot of thinking. It must be really hurting their brain, causing them to fight with everybody around them, right? They want what you have. They're not coming out of love. They're not coming in peace. No! Matthew 10, 34, right? And if they kicked your ass before, they've got a two-piece for you now. No, this. <laughs> they've got a black eye or two in it for you. No, this. Right? Gift wrapped shit, right? And a little finger to boot, right? Scandalous with the what the little whispers, right? Merchants of slander, Jeremiah 940. What else? Because this, I need to cut my fan on. Mm -hmm. As you what? Sit firmly in your new tax bracket. They see your worth now. Really? Good for them. It should be like a stone to their eye, a dagger to their heart. Right? What did I say? Tree sloth! Right? They can't sleep at night. They are anxious, pressed, pumped, and perturbed. They don't know how to manifest you back. Right? Well, what did I say? The secrets have secrets, blood. You don't need to be amongst that. It's not good for the big cat. You will start with cutting your eyes to the left and the right. Next thing you know, you're in prison. And big cats can't go to prison. The cat likes to be free. We have Sagittarius energy. This is a mutable sign. This is about you being adaptable and a versatile, darling dears. Always being able to change up your shit, right? Law 25. Of the 48 laws of power. The recreation is what is getting their goat the most. Yes, baby, sticking in their throat. And what? Being a stone to their eye. Yeah. And whatever they're doing, it's going downhill. Fast, in a handbasket, bound for 911 Freddy Krueger Avenue. Two streets over from Loser Lane. In the district of the village of the damned. Yes, baby! Let them go alone! Let's get a different deck. We need some more energies, because this energy... Let's move some of these things out there. Let's listen. They're dancing nothing yet. They will be forever spying. Because too late is their cry. come up for you and then I'm going to push off the queen of ones again your intuition your psychic abilities realize 
that you have the power to create whatever you want on this Malkuth. Continue to be motivated and focused. Plan, plot and strategize. If you fail to plan, you are planning to fail and it doesn't go with what you've got going on and what is being gifted to you at this time. Queen of Wands, right? Look, the Brock Porkages, the body, have you got a dime? Those that need the whole of you to make one of them. Oh my gosh, let them be gone. Stay in the mud hut, please. Don't come out of it, right? Leave them with whatever they created for themselves because it's full on shit show. Yes, baby, right? This person is emotionally abusive, right? A full and emotional drain. They lack any form of progress, right? And you have to remember, this particular rejection was a full-on protection. You deserved all of this. What? Being protected from them, them! Right? This person is also a gambler. Right? They gambled on the big cat and came up with snake eyes. Those same snake eyes that are still watching you. Mm-hmm. They watch you live your life intentionally. Looking sexy, beautiful, right? Motivated, right? Tapped in and turned on. And you're turning them on. Yeah. What's this? Told you. Queen of Cups. Right? You put a lid on that shit. <laughs> your unconditional love. Your love. You see <coughs> that you've got nothing left to offer the public in these particular situations. You're no longer investing in the black pocketers. Right? And those that are full of bad luck. Leave it over there. Right? As they sit in the heartbreak they wanted you to have. They've got it. Listen, karma knows their address and it's being delivered. Continue to manifest and be motivated. Right? And look, to a pentacle again. Spirit is telling you to wait. Telling you to wait. Right? Hold your gangster. The right person is coming for you. Don't keep picking because you pick, pick until you pick shit. Right? Don't pick them. The one that is meant for you is on their way and it brings security. This is about you what continuing to secure your bag, knowing where to put your energies and your times and your efforts. Some of you are buying and selling property, right? You've gone into the property fields. This is also the moving of what stocks, bonds and shares. You've bossed up in so many ways. You didn't know that you had those potentials because you was living in darkness with bottom feeders, right? Whose only focus Right, was to conquer the tree sloth. Are you kidding me, blood? You can't be over amongst those that are unmotivated. Right? This is about you, what? This is the Knight of Cups. Fall in, light, in love with yourself. This is also somebody coming through to sweep you off your feet. Do you want to be swept off your feet? This is another Knight. Knight of Pentacale. They are slow in the coming. We know this. We know this. Right? But they are definitely coming. This is somebody who is loyal, methodical, right? Everything they do is well thought out as only as we saw. The King of Pentacles can be. Know this. What you are seeking is seeking you. Right? Good, golly, and gosh. I can't make it up. The Ace of Cups again. So nice spirit had to give it to you twice. Your cup will run off over as you sit firmly in your new tax bracket. 144 in the chat. The chosen have assembled. Fist bump. Pinkies up. Yeah. Multiple streams of income and your 10th cup. You couldn't ask for more. On that note, I dropped me mic. Todd Love to Tea Springs or to Patrons where you will have access to all of the extended reads. Mm-hmm. While they're sitting in their seat, right, watching, I F in everything you've got going on from a distance, outside the perimeter, right? Let them be press pumped and perturbed. You care not one fig. <laughs> Possibilities, big cat. Let them eat shit as you eat cake. Yes. 
Namaste, big cats. Until we meet again. Cat, cat.